Hiya. Today I'm making some white chocolate ganache. Uh, what I've got is my weighing scales here. A little bowl. This is for a cake that I'm going to be doing at the weekend. So I want it to give it time to set really. So what I do with this is I weigh... Add the cream first or the chocolate first. I've got some white chocolate here, just Sainsbury's own. Uh, I don't have a lot of white chocolate to go with my cream, so I'm going to weigh the chocolate first and see how much I've got. So I'll put it on your weighing scales. Break up the chocolate into little pieces and put it into your dish. I'm going to try and use it all if I can because it's quite a big cake that I'm doing it for. <laughs> That's come to two or five grams. So this should be about the same. I've got some more, that's come to four or six. Come to five sixty two. Oops. Right, that's come to seven nineteen altogether. Now I want to do half of that because it's white chocolate. I'm doing it double. The amount of chocolate to cream so it's one part cream and two parts chocolate if you were doing milk chocolate i do one to one and dark chocolate i do the same one to one um but with milk chocolate it's a bit lighter so that comes to call it seven um so i shall do 350 of cream so I've set my scales back down to naught and I'll pour over that 350 worth of cream. Right, that's 350 there. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put this in the microwave. I'll microwave it on high for about two minutes and then I'll be back. Right, this has been in for two minutes. As you can see, it's starting to melt. Give it a good stir round. There's still quite a lot of lumps in this, so it definitely needs some more in the microwave. After your first initial two minutes, only do a minute at a, t at a time. Right, that seems as though... It needs a bit longer. So I'll put that back in again for another minute and I'll be back. Right, it's had another minute. As you can see, chocolate's near enough melted now. You can see the cream's turning into chocolate now. Still got some lumps in it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to give that one more blast at 30 seconds 
and hopefully there'll be no lumps in it and it'll be ready to cover up and put in the fridge. Right, that's had another 30 seconds in there. Give it a good stir around, make sure all the chocolate's gone. Looks pretty all right. No lumps in that now. Take it off all the sides so as you don't get any crispy bits in there. And then what you do then is you take some cling film. And you push the cling film right down to the ganache right down all over the edge so as it touches it because when it sets you don't want a hard top surface on your ganache and this prevents that from happening so that's pushed all the way down seal up the edges so no air gets in there and just leave that on the kitchen side for well you can leave it for a good couple of hours and then put it in the fridge and it'll keep in the fridge for about a week or so if you want to make this in advance you can do make it let it cool fully put it into a bag and pop it into the freezer and it will last in the freezer for you for at least 12 months so you could even make up a few for your upcoming cakes and just put it in the fridge and there you go Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it. If you need any more information, please don't hesitate to ask. I'm usually online somewhere. And give me a thumbs up. Thank you, bye.